Hello everybody, belated happy new years. So I haven't been doing a lot of Q&A questions lately and it's mainly because uh, I wanted to try making more active content again. Uh, you know, because in the beginning I really didn't make a lot of Q&A videos and um, even though they're a lot of fun, I really didn't get a lot of creative fulfillment out of making those Q&A videos. So that's why I'm kind of staying away from them right now. But I did get a question slash comment from the video that I did with uh, Kenny a while back when we were trading coming out stories. So over here we have, um, I'm gonna pull, pull it up right now. We have Nathan Auger. I'm gonna read out the question to you if that's all right with you, Nathan. I have a genuine problem that I need advice on. I am in love with my best friend, but he is heterosexual. I have moved countries, but plan to move back after I have finished my education. I've come out to him and told him that I had a crush on him. I've even told his parents. He was cool with it, but being heterosexual, he does not see me that way. How do I go about this? I want to be around him, but every time I talk to him, I see him, find him irresistible. Although this uh, would only be a crush, and after being rejected, I would be crushed. But I genuinely love him. He was, uh, he has been there for me when I was in the darkest places. He's funny and all that other good stuff. I don't want slash I do really want to be around him because I feel bittersweet. <clears throat> yeah, so... Nathan, I honestly feel like probably you and every other gay man in the world can relate to this story because I think we've all had that straight crush that we've had before. I definitely have. But I also don't know if there's a good answer for you out there because I understand that he's probably an awesome person. And, and you know, it's really cool for someone to reject you, but also to be really nice to you and... Um, you know, even though you know that they are not interested in you, like, you still want to spend time with them. I know that you're saying you, you love him, but I'm gonna give you two pieces of advice that I know it's gonna be really hard to internalize and take, but these are two things that kind of helped me in my long process of getting over my straight crush. First, the first thing that I want to say is, do you feel in, enough love for him that you are willing to let him go? Because the fact of the matter is that he's never going to love you back the same way that you love him. And he's going to probably fall in love with the girl unless he suddenly realizes that he's not just straight. And you need to be willing to accept that. And you, and you should, if you love him, then you should want the best for him. And unfortunately, the best for him is to not be romantically involved with you. Um, the second thing I want to say is that, do you love yourself enough to also maybe start looking f for other men? Because you deserve to have someone love you just as much as you love them. And even though it sounds like this straight crush is really hot and, um, a really good friend, he's not going to like you back in the same way that you love him. Honestly, the best advice that I can give you if you want to get over this person is to distance yourself from him, unfortunately. At least for me, that was the only way that I was able to regain perspective on my life. So I'm gonna tell everybody a story about my first straight crush. Probably not watching right now, so it's fine. Um, So I think the first like hard crush I ever had was fifth period AP US history class uh, in high school. And um, it was a really cute, tall, lanky Asian guy with glasses and Oh God, he was he was the type of person that, um, you know, has a pretty rough exterior, but he also like is extremely sweet once you get to know him. But you know, he was very very uncomfortable with his sexuality. Sometimes I feel I never did anything with him. I wish I did something with him, but I, I would never want to like cross that boundary and break that trust with him. Um, and it was torture. I so this was sophomore year, and I literally went through two, actually three years having a crush on him. So it was junior year, senior year, and freshman year of college. Um, he went to a school in Southern California. I went to school in Northern California. Um, and I would still message him a lot and, and everything, but it was after I kind of put myself at like such a huge distance away from him that I kind of realized what kind of person he was. And that's kind of how I was able to get over him. It might be harder for you just because I now realize that my crush is kind of a boring deadbeat of an asshole. 
Um, but I, I know that it's not the same for you, but I, I did just want to tell that story to let you know that I understand what you're going through and I feel that longing of something that you will never have and, and wanting that thing even more because you know that you can't have it. I totally understand that. I, I, I'm to some degree, I'm still experiencing that with someone that, um, can potentially be with guys. It's just that he's not interested in me. So Nathan, I'm really, really sorry. I can't give you a concrete answer because I, I, I genuinely want to help you. I, I want to to give you a hug and, and hold you and let you know that everything's going to be okay and that even though it's really, really hard and you might not be able to do it for a long time, you do need to be honest with yourself and and try your best to, to let him go because you don't deserve to be putting yourself through this torture, um, you know, pining after somebody that doesn't like you back, even though I'm going through it right now, um, cause, so I'm a hypocrite too. But um, And, you know, if you want to talk to me about this, you know, like through YouTube messaging, like please feel free to contact me about this. It's really hard and really complicated, and I know that it depends from person to person how that you get how you would get over somebody that is not into your gender. So once again, Nathan, please stay strong. Let me know how it goes. And Nathan, I just really hope that I helped even in the smallest of ways. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, send your love to Nathan uh, and offer any advice you can. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.